What's up guys, so I got a request to do the LG Velvet versus the iPhone 13. Uh, so if you have the Velvet and you're upgrading to the 13, uh, this video could be a little bit helpful uh, to you for sure. And um, if you just want you know, to know which one uh, you should get, there is like a huge price gap. So there is a few benefits of getting the Velvet over the 13 as well. Uh, so the Velvet you can pick up for around now actually under 300 bucks it's like 289 on amazon i have that link down below iphone brand new is going to cost you 830 bucks uh from you know apple's website uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the hardware here so we do have both glass and metal phones on here uh both glass bag both aluminum frames uh the first thing that'll stand out is just how tall the velvet is compared to the iphone look at that and the Velvet is also just a much thinner device as well. You guys can see the button layout there. Turn it to the left side. So you guys can see the Velvet is definitely going to be a just a really tall phone. As far as weight, it honestly feels like the iPhone might be a little bit heavier than the Velvet, which is crazy because of how big the Velvet is. But the Velvet does feel really, really light. And also just design-wise, I've always appreciated how... Uh, unique this phone looks it is extremely unique looking I think it's up there with again the new pixel 6 pro that I showed you guys yesterday uh, this phone has an extremely unique design as well so it's not a ton of phones that when you you know pull it out you can be like wow that is a that is a LG velvet um, and you know obviously if they make a lot of Android phones so they all kind of look the same the iPhone obviously has a very distinct look as well uh, but that's something I wanted to know and also at the bottom of the velvet you do have still a headphone jack as well which you do not have on the iPhone so you do have stereo speakers on both too which we will get into alright so let's talk about the screens on both of these devices on the velvet you have a massive 6.8 inch display so look at that 88.6 percent screen to body ratio 1080p 395 for the PPI it is a P OLED display with the wider drop notch and then on the iPhone, you have their Super Retina XDR OLED display, HDR10. Uh, it is also a 1170 by 2532 display, 460 for the PPI, and uh, much smaller at 6.1 inches and also a much bigger uh, notch as well. Uh, they both are very nice looking displays here. Uh, the Velvet does seem to be the more colorful display, but again, I think the iPhone is definitely the more color accurate display. And uh, they both are extremely bright too as well. So uh, both really nice, bright, vibrant displays. Uh, like I said, you do have a much smaller notch on the Velvet. So uh, when you're watching content, you know, it's not as intrusive as Apple's notch. Um, so that is also one thing I like. And also the Velvet does have a curved display as well, which a lot of people hate curved displays. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the way curved displays look. And I don't really suffer from accidental touches as well. I think the curved displays make the phone look uh, more premium to me. But again, that really comes down to the person. But uh, you both have you know really great displays on both of these devices here. Right, so this is probably one of the most important parts here. So if you are thinking about upgrading from the Velvet to the iPhone 13, uh, you are getting a big jump in performance. So when the Velvet launched, it didn't launch with a flagship chip. It's got sort of like, you know, a upper tier mid-range chip, I would say. Uh, so the Velvet is running Android 10 on this one. It is upgradable to Android 11 and still promised to actually get Android 12. But what I noticed is that uh, it's really been rolled out for the uh, unlocked version of the Velvet and not the locked versions like this AT&T one right here so that's one thing that I noticed so Snapdragon 765G, Adreno 620, micro SD support on the Velvet, 128 gigs of internal storage, 6 or 8 gigs of RAM depending on your uh, configuration and then on the iPhone 13, iOS 15, the Apple A15 chip no SD card support, 128 gigs of internal storage, 4 gigs of RAM. So the Velvet is going to beat the iPhone in terms of uh, being able to just load more videos, photos, and storage on your device because of the SD card support. But as far as speed, let's see if we notice any kind of big speed difference here. Actually, the Velvet, wow, the Velvet actually beat the iPhone right there. Now, one thing that you will notice is when it comes to gaming performance, then you'll sort of see like the power uh, of the iPhone. So if you are a big gamer, uh, this will be a pretty solid upgrade for you. 
But as you can see, we're just opening up casual applications and stuff. You can see the Velvet is doing just fine compared to the iPhone. It's actually keeping up and actually beat it. As you can see, super fast. So the 765 chip just for opening casual applications is uh, very good. And both of these phones do not have any type of high refresh rate, but they are still very smooth and scrolling and stuff like that. So I've never had an issue. All right, guys, just to show you guys the graphics on PUBG, like I said, you'll get that big upgrade with gamer performance. You're only able to go to HD and high. As with the iPhone, you're able to basically play at max settings. Of course, you can even go up to Ultra HD. Uh, so, you know, your gaming performance is going to be much better on the iPhone. So, I have. So, if you're a gamer, um, definitely that is a big thing. But also, if you really are a diehard LG fan, and you can always go with a flagship like the V50, V60, and it'll play games basically it'll match the iPhone in terms of power you have to remember this was pretty much launched with like a mid-range tier chip alright I'll let you guys hear these speakers side by side here they both have stereo speakers I never actually heard these two particular ones side by side Yeah, the iPhone 13 is definitely louder, but if you turn LG sound engine off, the uh, Velvet speakers sound much, much better to me, and they definitely sound, uh, you know, almost as loud, but definitely not as loud as the 13, and it does lack uh, the bass that the 13 has. But awesome uh, speaker quality for both of these phones. Like I said, you have to sort of play around with the LG sound engine. I personally uh, just leave it off. But uh, excellent speakers on both. But the iPhone definitely has uh, the edge there. Right, so let's talk about your additional features. So the Velvet does have an in-display fingerprint sensor and NFC and wireless charging as well. And like I said, it does have that IP68 dust and water resistant. Uh, so... You know, unfortunately, there is no face unlock on the Velvet, so that is the one thing, um, you know, with this phone. The fingerprint scanner does work fine. I don't have an actual issue uh, with it. But like I said, I've always wanted, you know, two options. I don't know why LG took it away. I guess because it's not as safe, but still, I just like to have that, that option. And it's the same thing with the iPhone. Uh, we also have Face ID here. Uh, but... You know, it is uh, the only option. There's no Touch ID anymore. Uh, the iPhone also does have NFC with Apple Pay um, as well. And again, uh, wireless charging is on the iPhone. As well as the, the new MagSafe uh, wireless charging that they have on here too. Uh, which is pretty cool. But overall, you know, it's fine. Alright, so let's talk about the image quality. And just to be plain, uh, yes, the iPhone 13 is going to have a better camera. Uh, than the Velvet for sure, so that's also another uh, pretty good upgrade if you're considering, you know, switching from the Velvet to the 13. Uh, but the Velvet does have a very good camera, but like I said when it came out, it needed some software tweaks, which it probably got with Android um, 11. So, you know, I just haven't been able to use it, but it's got a 48 megapixel standard, a 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel depth. 4K video with a 16 megapixel standard that shoots in 1080p. It still takes really great photos, very good color accuracy, a good detail, a good depth of field. The ultra wide is pretty good. It's a pretty good, uh, you know, camera for a mid ranger. Obviously, it was, you know, it wasn't better than the V60, um, so it's not going to be better than the 13. Um, but yeah, so you know, overall, the LG Velvet's camera is fine. Um, I my I, my mom I can't talk. <laughs> my mom actually uses this phone. And um, she actually loves the camera on this phone. She really loves the phone in general. So uh, it's still a good camera phone. So now with the iPhone, we do have a dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel standard and a 12 megapixel ultra wide 4K video, 24, 30 or 60 FPS. And then a 12 megapixel selfie at 4K, 24, 25, 30 and 60 FPS. 
you know what you're getting with the iPhone flagship quality photos here. Excellent detail, good depth of field, very good color on here as well. Uh, excellent video on here, and you also get the really cool cinematic uh, video too. And uh, yeah, you're just getting flagship quality photos that um, you know are going to be uh, very consistent. And even low light photos are really good on the iPhone 13 as well. Um, so yeah, definitely I think it's going to be a pretty solid camera upgrade if you decide to swing that way. Alright, so the battery situation is actually fantastic on both of these phones. Uh, now, the Velvet has a bigger 4,300 milliamp battery with 25 watt charging and also fast wireless charging at 9 watts. And then on the iPhone, you do have a 3,240 milliamp battery uh, with the max safe wireless charging and the uh, you know standard wireless charging at 7.5 watts. Uh, so basically, you're getting very good battery life, all day battery life on both of these phones. You would think the Velvet, you know, would have better because of bigger battery, but uh, that's not the case because it's got a bigger display. Um, so you you get very good battery life. I'm really impressed with the iPhone 13. This easily can go a day and a half easy, and then the Velvet also can go a day and a half too for a light user. So overall, I'm extremely happy uh, with battery life on both of these phones. No complaints uh, here. So. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. Would you guys upgrade from the Velvet to the iPhone 13? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.